All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day here, another video. Something a little bit different for today's episode. As you guys see in the title, it's stump grinding. Uh, this is kind of different from what I usually post, but uh, one of the beautiful things about YouTube, if there's any sort of uh, question you might have or uh, some sort of interesting topic that you might want to kind of learn more about, YouTube is a great opportunity to kind of experience that. And uh, renting tools from Home Depot might be something that you might do once every three to five years. Maybe you're really curious about it, but it might be an intimidating process to you. Today's the day I'm renting my first tool from Home Depot. I want to share that experience with you guys and girls, uh, a stump grinder. So uh, stump grinders are pretty expensive, brand new. There's a lot of different makes and models. You can call up a tree service and get some work done if you want. Uh, for someone like myself, Someone like myself, um, I have a, <laughs> I have quite a few stumps that need to be grinded. I have one, two, three, four, five, maybe about nine or ten just in this area. I can show you right now. Got one there. You have another one here. There's one kind of by the road. Moving over this side of the building, I have one on the left, then one on the right. And as you can see, I have one down here. Another one over there, another one over there, and then one popping up right over there. As well as if you move over here, I have another two. And uh, one thing with myself is I wanted to get a tree surface in, but I've heard a lot of stories about people with tree surfaces, and they generally won't do a, a grinding of a stump uh, for under $100 a stump. So as you see, I have a bunch here. I figured maybe I can knock out three or four uh, in a couple hours, and uh, I can save myself some money. So if you've ever been curious about the process or a stump grinder and how it works, let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's grind some stumps. All right, so unlike that stump over there, which is pretty raised and pretty large, this one uh, was an old pine tree. And as you can see, I went ahead and cut the grass around with the lawnmower, but I can't cut up, uh, can't cut over this because there's this remaining piece of this stump. So we have some taller grass there, but I want to run the stump grinder on that. Uh, this is one thing that I figured the stump grind company probably wouldn't do it for free, but they might try to do it for $100 or maybe $50. Uh, if they threw it in with a bonus deal, but uh, something like this I figure I can maybe even knock out maybe in a matter of 10 minutes So save yourself some money and get this one done Well, after about five minutes, it's about as far as I got. Huh. So I assume something like this would probably take about an hour to do with this, uh, this machine. Interesting. So after about 35 minutes of work, um, I feel like I'm about halfway there. It's kind of hard to really tell. Uh, but as you see, all this is like all the walnut dust. That's all walnut dust mixed in with some dirt, but mostly uh, this was black walnut. As you can see, it's a very gorgeous color. Um, the aroma is very strong, but um, overall impressions, I thought it would work a lot better. Um, there is no way that I would be able to do this in under an hour. Uh, so with these bigger stumps, such as this one, which probably is about two feet in diameter. This would probably be like a two hour job by myself. So I'll probably have to get a, a, a company in to do those. But with this stump grinder, I think it's gonna be perfect for something like this, where, you know, it's not really too high of a stump, but as you see, there's no grass that grows over it. So I still have to cut around with the lawnmower. By using this stump grinder, I think I can get rid of this and probably like two or three other stumps within a time limit of today. Um, and I'll make it worthwhile. But uh, if you're thinking about getting the stump grinder because you want to uh, grind up larger stumps, I would highly suggest maybe uh, just calling a company and to use it with a 
an actual heavy duty machine. Because this one's a workout. All right, so I just completed a full day's worth of work. Uh, I noticed my neighbor's cutting grass, but um, what you'll see here, that was a stump. You can kind of see some remnants there, but that's about four or five inches below, let's call it surface level or ground level. So uh, I'll just put dirt over that. This stump, although I guess it's still alive, it wasn't giving off any new growth. So I figured probably just by covering it up, either it's going to decompose itself, or if any sprouts come up, I'll probably just run over it with a lawnmower. But I gotta scoop all that dirt over it. And what I mean by dirt, I really mean just sawdust, essentially. Now I don't have the right rate to do this, but this will actually work. Now I can probably tidy up a little bit more here. Now this is just sawdust mixed in with some dirt. I'll probably add topsoil on top of that. I'll throw around some grass seed and then it'll look exactly like the rest of the yard. Over here I polished off that stump, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I did two over there. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we have another walnut tree here. You can kind of see the wood or the stump growth right there and although the depth perception on camera doesn't look right that's about six inches down so uh, i was trying to think off the top of my head if you called in a tree service to come in here for stump grinding i really doubt that they go below three or four inches i could be wrong but um i i can see them stopping at a certain length because this stump could still go down another who knows five or six inches farther down um i feel like they kind of go down to a certain level three inches four inches and just cover it up with dirt so that's one thing i kind of learned with doing this is you probably end up doing a little bit more work than you probably should just because you kind of see hey look there's still a stump there however once you kind of step back and look you'll realize that the stump is lower than the surface level by a decent amount this one as well as you can see how large this uh stump growth is this is the one that just had a bunch of little weeds up next to it and the stump itself looked like it was only three or four inches wide once you start digging down you can see it's maybe about uh, eight or ten inches wide so uh, you end up doing a little bit more work than you originally planned so that was the fourth stump and then lastly i didn't plan on doing this one but i did it anyway this one was originally this size and you can see how wide it is from over here all the way over there we take this piece and put it right there for comparison you'll see you'll do end up you end up doing a lot more work than you anticipated now this is also about five or six inches deep so i can probably just cover that back up and uh it should probably be fine but yep that's stump grinding in terms of the actual machine i end up renting this for one day um, it cost me about $160. They gave me the brand new machine. Uh, when I got it, I only had, I think, 1.1 or 1.2 hours on it. So either they ran it for just like an hour or so, or someone used it for maybe like one stump. Uh, I ended up putting about 3.1 or 3.2 hours on it. Um, like I said, I rented it for a day. The cheaper rate would be renting it for four hours. 
considering I put a little over three hours on running time, I feel like if you're to rent this, renting it for four hours, unless you're doing one stump, you have to rent it for a day. You can also rent it for a week, which I think is around 600 something. Uh, but for $150, or $160, uh, I end up doing a total of five stumps. So I end up spending or saving myself probably around $250, $300 from post to calling in a company. Um, a little bit of work went a long way, but overall, I would say it's a great machine. Just understand it's going to take you a lot longer than you think. And although the blades might be really sharp, it's not as sharp as a chainsaw, I would say. Um, it's really just a grind, essentially. All right, made it back to Home Depot. You can rent a lot of different machinery here. There's a skid steer over there. Um, and over on this side is where you can buy the, uh, or rent the, uh, well, you got a lift. I still see the two stump grinders that were there. There was something right there, but somebody must have rented that. There's a log splitter. And you can rent all sorts of tools here at Home Depot, but returning the uh, the stump grinder seems like. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap it up here for today's video. Obviously, something a little bit different. Uh, overall experience from it, I probably wouldn't be renting another stump grinder from Home Depot just because I don't have a purpose for it. All the stumps I have are over a foot in diameter, and I'd honestly say that the stump grinder they have there, the uh, I think it's like a 13 horsepower or whatever it might be, um, 15 horsepower. It's not a really big machine. Uh, it's the $150 or $160 one. Uh, I know they do sell or they do rent out a larger one at certain Home Depots for about $300 a day. But the smaller one, if the stump is bigger than a foot in diameter, you're probably going to struggle with it. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, I probably wouldn't rent another one just because the stumps I have remaining uh, are too large. However, if you guys and girls are curious about renting from Home Depot, it was overall a great experience. Very, very easy. They helped me load it and they helped me unload it, uh, as well as the whole paying process was very, very simple and it was very efficient and quick. So uh, if I do need a new tool in the future, I probably would rent it from Home Depot or maybe even Lowe's if they offer the same program. Uh, this is not a paid or sponsored video, just kind of giving out my two cents. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more adventures just like this. I'll catch you guys next time for next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.